Hey all, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for September 18th, 2018. The character is the Thailand, and the modifiers are Brewmaster, start with 5 copies of Alchemist and the White Beast statue. Certain Future, the map contains only one path. And Hoarder, whenever you add a card to your deck, add 2 additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck after Merchant. So because we have Hoarder, we're going to try to hit the collector's bonus as much as we can. So, um, ooh, and I think we start off with 15 copies of Alchemist, right? That is a bummer. All right, so we have to remove as many as we can of those. But I guess this will be a potions heavy run. All right, so right off the bat, starting off with a lot of Alchemizes here. Oh, Ghost in a Jar, we'll definitely hang on to that for our first elite fight. Um... All right, let's see. Gambler's Brew. Let's throw the Explosive Potion and then defend for some defense at least. All right. Power Potion. Sure. Okay. And then uh, I think I'll Strike and Survivor. All right. Um, hmm. So Alchemist gives us, ooh, block potion, very handy, so we can double strike. Alright, and, well, can I draw a strike? Let's keep one Alchemist in case we don't draw any. There we go. Should have used that Alchemist, actually. Alright, we, um, <clears throat> we probably will need blocks, so let's go with the leg sweep. All right, so, um, hmm. uh, let's double strike to kill the frontliner and then throw a weakness potion. And then uh, we can fully defend, right? Okay, let's see what Alchemist gives us. Regen potion, which I don't think we really need. Swift potion, I don't think we need the gambler's brew. And let's see, explosive potion, okay. And we are weakened. Let's weaken him in return. Uh, and then strike, defend. I'm gonna throw the explosive potion and do another alchemize. It's poison potion, okay. Alright, we should heal this. So let's do leg sweep. So that way we'll heal it and uh, he'll be dead next turn thanks to the um, poison. And we get some extra. Alright. Um, here, let's take... We should also keep track, so I took a leg sweep. Let's take dash. That'll be good attack and defense. Alright. So, here, we definitely want to do let leg sweep to fully defend. Um, then we can also do a strike, and I'll throw the poison potion. Alright. Neutralize, strike, alchemize, fair in a bottle, which I don't think we really need. And another power potion, which, um... Let's drink it. Um, sure. Unfortunately, we're taking five damage, but a regen potion will give that back to us pretty quickly. But this is where the dash comes in handy. And then the strike and the poison kills. All right, we got Gambler Sprue and... Um, hmm, Cloak and Dagger. I think we'll go with that. All right. Um, Mind Blast. Definitely Mind Blast. Yes. So, it's uh, 2 energy, upgraded to 1 energy, and 8 that will deal, what is that, 32 damage um, in the opening turn, or in the uh, first turn. Um, and so that's really powerful. Actually, we're pretty much done here. Uh, now I'm just going to pick up as many cards as we can. We should also pick up Curses. Oh yeah, the only disadvantage to this is that we can only kill one guy at the first turn, because this does cost two energy. Um, and yeah, this does cost two energy. Alright, so we can kill the frontliner. Um, like so. We are going to take six damage, but I think that's fine. Uh, here we can do um, Survivor. And then uh, let's actually gamble spruce these out. Yeah, I was looking for at least one attack. Alright, and then you neutralize kills before we play that. Let's check what Alchemize gives us. Don't need a speed potion. Sure, I'll keep a strength potion, why not? 
All right, we got a regen potion, which I'll take over the swift potion. Um, and here, another set of alchemists. Now let's do a choke, sure. At this point, we're just picking up cards to make the um, mind blast stronger. The more cards we pick up, the better. Um, let's also drink the regen potion and let's see what alchemist gives us. Explosive potion, sure. Um, cloak and dagger, strike. Let's be fully defended. And then shiv. Alright, here we can sucker punch. And then let's see what the potions give us. Skill potion. Um, sure. And then um, strike for a kill. All right, here we'll do dash and strike. And a cloak and daggers shift will kill. All right, got an energy potion and um, acrobatics would be nice. Or endless agony, if we get that on an opening turn, that will allow us to play stuff. Yeah, right now our mind plus are 41 damage, which is pretty amazing. And uh, we can almost kill. We are going to take one damage here, but I think that's totally fine. And then this kills. All right. Uh, here, let's take an all-out attack. At this point, the car cards we take are not super relevant. Is there anything we want to remove? Not really. No, no. Let's keep the gold. Here we got Sneko Skull. Whenever you apply poison, apply an additional poison. Not super useful for us. And when I say not super useful... I mean, not at all useful. All right, first elite. Let's see if we can perfect this one. Um, so the mind blast to 44 damage. Uh, here, let's actually make this easy on us and drink an energy potion and kill. All right, we got shuriken. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Plus an explosion potion and a uh, quick slash. Here, let's upgrade one of the mind blast. This would allow us to play two of them at the opening turn. All right, um, so here's one, here's the other one. Okay, um, here I think we'll do a um, dash and then all out attack. And a strike will kill. Here, let's take a blur, sure, why not? All right, Mind Blast once, and a second time for a kill. Yeah, with the Mind Blast, we're pretty much done. We can uh, sort of just skip everything. The only difficulty will be... Um, let me smith another Mind Blast. The only difficulty will be uh, if we get the very final boss, the one that um, dies and then re regenerates, because then we'll lose the Mind Blast. Um, but let's, let's get there first. This boss also might be trouble, because... We can only get him down to 150. So I think we'll do a blur just for some minimal defense for next turn. All right, here we got nine incoming. I think we can dash. That will be sufficient. Um, actually, no. We should leg sweep to apply some weakness. And then we can... Um, well, we can actually leg uh, sucker punch from even more weakness. All right, we have 12 incoming and no defensive card whatsoever. Uh, well, we can play the ghost in a jar, but let's let's see if we get any sort of defense. Um, nope. Nope. Nothing can do. Even if we play the uh, ghost in a jar, we'll still take some attack damage. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, so even though we had a pretty good setup, we weren't able to perfect. Uh, since we were not perfecting, I'm not even caring about my HP anymore. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate. Uh, we got a little unlucky. I mean, with a thick deck like that, it'll, it's very difficult to um, consistently draw something useful. 
Alright, uh, we could take a lot of damage, but also inflict a lot of damage. Let's see. Yeah, let's do heal hook. Let's see what we draw. Alright, let's do blur. Um, yeah, let's see what this gives us. Fear potion, sure. We can do 10 damage each. I think it's worth it. Alright. Just makes the fight a little quicker. Okay, we got a speed potion and... Um, I think I'll take the Invenom. Sure, why not? Um, energy. We need energy. I'm actually okay discarding two cards. Um, also, we don't really care for cards. Yeah, let's do Busted Crown. That's the safest. Since we are relying on the map blasts, mind blasts, so we don't really care what else we draw, what else we get. The one having one card to choose from is totally sufficient. So now we can play all three mind blasts in the same turn. And I'm just going to accept every card we get. Uh, remove a card. No, thank you. Yep. So now the elites are the only... Or, sorry, not the elites. The bosses are the only issue. Um, let me think. So if we get, ideally, another set of Mind Blast, that would be amazing. It's unlikely, though. Hopefully by the time we reach the second boss, we'll have enough cards in our deck. Alright, let's upgrade the last Mind Blast. Alright. Now we even have energy left over. Okay, we got Anchor, start each combo with 10 block. As well as a Power Potion, which I'll definitely take over the Speed Potion. Sure. Okay, um, well, let's just take it just for the Relic. I think we should be fine. Alright, we got Necronomicon. The first attack played each turn that costs two or more is played twice. When you take this Relic, become cursed. So that way we'll get both three Curses as well as an extra Relic. We're, meaning we're very close to getting a uh, the Curse modifier if we have one other Curse. We got the Courier. The mission no longer runs out of cards, Relics, or Potions, and its prices are reduced by 20%. So now I'm regretting upgrading one of the Mind Blasts, because without it, the Necro Necronomicon would have played it twice. Um, is there anything else we need to upgrade? Anything that will make it innate? I don't think so, so I think I'll start upgrading the Blurs. Actually, I might have actually also healed here. No reason not to. Alright, we got an Attack Potion, which I'll take over the Ancient Potion. Oh. All right, here, Corpse Explosion may be very powerful. Um, it's also quite expensive, though. Hmm. Do I want any of these relics? Not really. Aqua Souvenir would be nice. 160. Let's first get cards. We definitely want Madness. Let's also take this because it's on sale. Um... If I buy the Swift Strike, I might get a um, another set of Mind Blasts. Nope, I did not, and I don't want to pay this much gold for it. I think we'll get the Cloak Horse Souvenir, and then we can get a Dagger Throw. Yep, I think we're good. Alright, now our Mind Blasts are up to 89 now. Which is good. Uh -huh. 92. I feel ready for the final boss. I don't think he has more than 300 um, strength. Uh, let us heal though. No reason not to. I, I don't really. Th I can't really think of any card that we want to upgrade. Yep, we should kill one, two, three. Perfect. All right. Um, sure. Uh, here. Oh yes, Orrery. That will give us 15 extra cards, and we might find something useful. Potion, Dagger Spray, and Calculate Gamma. No, nothing useful, but now our Mind Blast should do 113 damage. I'm calculating our deck size minus the 7 cards that we draw at the beginning. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks to Anchor, we don't have to worry about... Since we have the block, we don't have to worry about the Spiker um, damaging us. Uh, we don't need that. 
Actually, let me see who the final boss is. Oh, Time Eater. Perfect. He'll die. We don't need the fair in the bottle then. Uh, I might take a vulnerability potion, just because they'll um, guarantee it. I forget how much HP... Oh, there we go. Fear potion. Uh, let's drop the uh, power potion for that. Alright. That'll guarantee that we'll kill. Um, let's do you, you, and you. Um, sure. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely get a relic. Although, yeah, very unlikely we'll get get, get enough relics for that. Um, 25 extra points. We got Unseizing Top. Whenever you have no cards in your hand during your turn, draw a card. Um, do I want to lose all my gold? Nope, we have a shop upcoming, so definitely not losing all my gold. I, I don't really know what to upgrade. Um, I mean... Yeah, I guess we can upgrade the madnesses. I don't, I don't, really, I don't really think there is a point in upgrading anything. Oh, the only um, here we got Matresha. The next two chests you open contain two relics. The only reason uh, I might have not picked the busted crown is because now we can't really control what cards we get a collector's modifier from, because we're kind of randomly picking cards. Speaking of Collector's Modifier, I think I'll take the uh, Madness, because then we'll get a Collector's Modifier on that. As well as the Blur. I think we already have six of the Flying Knees. So maybe I'll take Acrobatics, Footwork is on sale. And let's see if there's another shop upcoming. Probably not. There's only one question mark, so very unlikely to get a shop. We have 67, not enough for two cards, so let's just pick... Um... Sure. Right here we got Mob Bank. Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at the shop. And Mummified Hand. Whenever you play a power, a random card in your hand costs zero for a turn. Both are pretty irrelevant for us. I want to test something. I'm going to kill these two first and then the Reptomancer. And I think. Um, well, I'll spend it a second. The hook, sure. I think at the end you get points for how many enemies you kill. And I'm not sure if minions are included, but they might be. An essence of steel, which I don't need. Piercing whale, sure. Alright, uh, yeah, let's take three colorless cards. That's three copies of Impatient, three copies of Thinking Ahead, and three copies of Forethought. Um, or let's upgrade another Madness. Alright, um... We need more cards. Okay, we're only doing 161 damage each turn, so... Uh, actually, we probably have some um, power cards that will become innate. Might want to play that. Um, so I think that, that... Nope, nope. I thought there would be a power card that will make it innate. I don't see any, though. Yeah, fine, let's upgrade a leg sweep, why not? Alright, so we're doing 161 damage, so if the enemy is over... Nope, we can kill on the first turn, right? That's 161 times 3, that's um, 480-something, 80 83 actually. There we go. Alright, well that was 18 minutes, fastest run I ever had. Um, let's see, 1307. Yeah, I think this is... Um, the reason we didn't get a higher score is because I had limited um, number of cards to choose from. So I wasn't... I, we still got 14 collectors, so that 350 extra points. Um, but we could have... I guess we... If we had... If we were able to keep track of the cards and sort of follow them, we could have maybe gotten some more. But uh, yeah, overall, I, I just missed the 50 points perfecting the first boss, which... Um, 100 points, actually, which I, don't, I can't really think of a way to do that. But um, maybe others can. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.